Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. Monday, I showed you how to do a callout effect. What I didn't show you were how to actually do an animation as well while doing the callout. And in this video, that is what I am going to do. I'm also going to show you a faster way of doing the callout itself. But if you don't want to see that and are only interested in the animation part, you can look down in the chapters below and just skip to the part you are interested in. If you are new to this channel and want to learn filmmaking tips and tricks, learning DaVinci Resolve and having a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get right to the video. Okay, so let's get right to it. Uh, first off, we are going to use the same clip as last time, me not bicycling. And um, we are then going to go to the effects library. We'll go into the effects and we're just taking a fusion composition and dragging that down on top of our video clip. And then we're just going to extend the length and uh, we're going to drag that aside and uh, selecting that and going into fusion. So inside of fusion, we have our media uh, out node and we are just quickly going to add in here a background we're going to connect that to the media out and with the background selected we are going to go to the alpha down here and we are going to make this transparent next thing is we are going to take yet another background and we're also going to take a polygon we're going to connect the polygon to our background, select the background, change the color to, let's say, white, and say OK to that. Then we're going to take our background node and drag that up in our viewer one. Select the polygon, and uh, we're just going to draw something like that. And uh, then we are going to go into the inspector here and... Um, we can then change the border width. So now you can see we actually have a white border, something like that. Then we are going to take um, our background too. We are going to right click on the mouse and drag this down to background one. And this is going to give us a merge node. Great. So let's uh, quickly add in a text. And we are just going to write something here. Not me, change the font to my beloved Tahoma, something like that. And we're just going to take down a merge node and connect that right here. Then we're going to make sure that this is going to be a background. We're also going to make sure that our other background is a background. We are then going to connect all of these things together again. And then we're just going to add in a transform node we have right here. We're going to put that in between the text here. And then with that select, we can easily move our text around. We can size it up and we can change the angle as well. There we go, something like that. And um, then we are going to take another transform and put that at the end here. And this just means that we are now going to control everything. So if we want to size it down, we can do like that. So let's get to the animation part of this tutorial, the fastest way of making this animate in or out is actually just to um, take in a rectangle mask. Let's uh, say we go to frame 20 here with the, the mask selected. We'll go in here to the width and we'll go to the height and also think we could change the angle so it kind of animate this way in. We're then going to put in a keyframe here at the center. We'll go to the beginning of our animation and we're just going to drag this away. So now we have this mask moving like that. That's what we want. 
So let's say we'll go here to the end of our clip, around frame 380. We're going to put in another keyframe. We'll go a little forward and uh, then we're just going to drag this away again. So that's basically it. So we are taking our rectangle tool and we are going to connect this to the blue merge right here. And the, the reason why we are adding this to the blue is that is that is the mask input. So we're adding that. So let's have a look here what we have here. Now we have the line here animating in and we could do something similar to the text, but uh, we'll do the text in another way. So we're going to do the text by selecting the text and then we're just going to use the right in effect. Okay. So when my text is or my line is here, I want the text to be written in like it is right here. I'm going to add in a keyframe and I'll go to the beginning. Actually, I'll go frame by frame instead. And I'm using the arrow keys for that. So I'll just go back and then I'm just going to move parts of the letter like that. together with the line. No, it's gone. So this is what we have. Kind of an easy way to do the animation here. And uh, we'll then go to the end of the clip and uh, do the same thing yet again. Again, we're going to put in a keyframe right here. Again, I'm going forward with my arrow keys here. And then I'm again doing the animation like so. Like that. So there we go. So here we have the animation. I'll go back to the tab here. So there we go. That's how we do the animation. Just need to go into the transform here and I'm going to make the size of this a little smaller, something like that. Okay, so here we are back in the edit page and uh, here we have the effect itself. And um, of course, this is not aligned or anything like that. So there's a couple of ways we could do that. We could do a lot of tracking, but actually a super fast way of doing it is to select this go up to the transform and then we can actually just push this button here and we can align the clip as such and we're just going to uh, add in keyframes for everything and uh, we'll just go forward like that then we are going to go here to the end we're going to run through this clip super fast and just making it fit So this is the super fast way of doing a manual animation. Sometimes this will go as fast as actually having to go into Fusion and doing a super quick tracking. So that's how you would do that thing inside of DaVinci Resolve and tracking it super fast manually using DaVinci Resolve 17. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.